Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Earlier this month, I posted letting you know that Windows 11 could be getting a new settings page with advanced options, which was spotted in Windows Server Build 26404, where the Windows 11's for developers settings page had been revamped with a new name, Advanced. And this is just a screen grab provided by Phantom of Earth over on X. Go check that video out if you'd like to get more information. Now, just to let you know that I have noticed today in an update from the Microsoft Store that the first traces of the so-called new advanced options have started appearing on both my Windows 11 and my Windows 10 device. So if I head into my settings, and this applies to both Windows 10 and 11 as mentioned, head to system, and we scroll down to system components, here you'll see Windows advanced settings, 72 kilobytes in size, so it's very small. And if we click on the three dotted menu and head to advanced options, there's no way to uninstall this. And I see that the background permissions are set to never by default. So it's not running in the background. So I thought that was interesting. And I thought, okay, well, I've received the feature. So I went into my system page again. But my for developers is still there because as mentioned, for developers settings will be revamped with a new name called advanced. So I've still got the for developers section, no advanced. So it looks like the first traces of this are making its way into the OS. So there's a very good chance this could be rolling out. Now, if you are getting excited that this feature is also going to be rolling out to Windows 10, because I mentioned the same advanced options had appeared as an update today from the Microsoft Store on my Windows 10 device. It doesn't seem that it is going to be rolling out, although the same entry is in the system components over on my Windows 10 device. But it doesn't seem that Windows 10 is going to be getting this feature, and this is my reason why. Because as I posted back in January of this year, Microsoft was going to be deprecating the Dev Home app after just two years, where according to a message over on GitHub, Dev Home will be going away in May 2025, where we find ourselves now, and a subset of its features will be moved to new places. Now, back in, in January, we didn't know about the advanced settings, and as I've mentioned, for developers now, which Windows 10 does not have, is being replaced and could be being replaced with advanced options. And I have also noticed today with this feature rolling out that if I head to my Windows Tools, Dev Home has been removed. It's been deprecated. The entry is no longer available on my Windows 11 device. It's no, not in the Apps and Features list and it's not in the Windows Tools where it previously was. And... My reason for saying that Windows 10 will not get the advanced options at this stage, it looks like it won't, is because if I head to a screenshot I took, when I clicked on the Dev Home app on Windows 10's entry under Windows Accessories in the Start menu, the Dev Home icon is still there. But when you click on it, this message pops up. Windows Advanced Settings needs an update, but we're unable to apply the update right now. Advanced settings requires Windows 11. So that's what's happening now. So a bit of backwards and forwards here, but it seems that Windows 10 will not be getting the feature, although the same entry is in the system components list. But Windows 11 at this stage seems like it will be getting the feature. I don't know when the whole feature will roll out. It's kind of half-baked at the moment, as mentioned. So for developers was basically a advanced options in itself as you can see there were some settings in here that are kind of elevated for more of your tech savvy person so advanced options go check that other video out it'll give you a little bit more info so replacing for developers with 
advanced options kind of makes sense because Dev Home has now been deprecated and Dev Home was also like a advanced options when it comes to settings and so on. So this is a good sign that advanced options is on its way to Windows 11. And let me know down in the comments. Are you seeing it now that I've pointed it out? Have you spotted it before? Um, were you unaware? Just let me know if you're also spotting the new advanced options in your your system components listing when it comes to the different components. I'd be interested to know. And obviously, if I get more info and this becomes a working feature on my system, I'll post and let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.